gentlemen, I mean, gentlemen, today I'm going to help you turn your insecurities into confidence. I've developed a 30 day plan that will absolutely give a death punch to those stupid, insignificant insecurities you've got and turn them into unbridled confidence. All right guys, so for this video, I'm going to break it up into two parts. The first part, I'm going to go over the most common insecurities that men face. I am then going to give you actionable steps that you can do over the course of the next 30 days to minimize the insecurity about these specific things and to make you feel a little bit better. But then the second part of this video, I'm going to go over a few things that you can also do to help you build and boost your confidence through the fucking roof. So the first insecurity that we're going to talk about is something that is near and dear to my heart, and that is height. I I am a short guy. I'm five foot six and a little teeny weeny bit. Dark colors, monochromatic dark colors are going to make you look taller. Black, dark grays, dark browns. Gentlemen, the darker colors are going to make you look better. Now, you of course know that you need to wear clothes that fit. If your clothes are big, they're baggy, of course it's going to make you look shorter. Your shoes also should not be big and bulky because as the eye travels down, if your shoes are big and fat and bulky, it's going to make you appear shorter. Your eye stops. You want to Nice clean line all the way down to your toes. It's all about understanding your clothing and your body. You gotta stop acting like your height is your handicap, gentlemen. It's your attitude. That's the thing that is holding you back. Over the next 30 days, upgrade your style, dress more appropriately, and you're gonna be amazed at how much better you look, how much taller you feel, and how you don't even worry about the fact that you're short until you get into a crowd, and then you'll be insecure again like I am. The second biggest insecurity that a lot of guys face is in the bedroom, all right? Whether or not it's Big Al not being as big as you think he should be, or the fact that you're a little bit quicker than you should be and you think that you should be lasting a little bit longer. A few things that I want you to do over the next 30 days is number one, stop watching so damn much porn. One of the downsides, one of the downsides to consuming the movies is that it paints an unrealistic expectation of what we as dudes should look like, also how we should perform and act in the sack. When the truth is, gentlemen, you don't need to worry about that. And so the less you consume, the more confident you're going to be just going, rocking, and rolling, and doing your own thing. The other thing I would recommend is follow the Alpha M rule of getting freaky. Slow it down, gentlemen. There's no rush. It's not a race to see who finishes first. It's all about you doing what you need to do to make sure that she is satisfied first before you do what you need to do and it lasts like two seconds, right? A little bit of kissing, a little bit of touching, a little bit of going down to see Brendan. And if she's taking care of, she's like, yo, whatever, it lasts two seconds, I don't care. You're hung like a light switch? I'm not even worried about it because you took care of Brenda. Over the next 30 days, gentlemen, I want you to employ the Alpha M rules of getting freaky. I'm telling you, it works like a charm. It also is going to boost your confidence because after she gets done doing what she needs to do, and here, here, here's something else you need to do, right? Ask. If you're not sure what works, what doesn't work, ask because a lot of times these women have been conditioned to lie. Yeah, they're faking it because they don't want to hurt your tender little feelings. The third insecurity that it is time to get under control, and that is hair loss. Hair loss is one of the biggest confidence killers out there. If you start losing your hair and you're like, oh, damn, right, you're always worried about it. You're thinking when you meet somebody, are they looking at my hair? Are they noticing that it's receding? Guys, stop dealing with hair loss and do something about it. Over the next 30 days, gentlemen, it is time to take action, but it starts with you taking the Bosley hair loss quiz. The reason why Bosley is the only company that I trust with my hair is because they've been in the hair loss game for over 40 years. They're just not some like tech startup that got a lot of funding and is like, yo, I know a lot of guys are worried about hair loss. Let's sell hair loss medication. Bosley understands hair. And if you are somebody that is ready to do something about your hair loss or see if you're actually losing it, there's a hair loss quiz that I'm going to link to down below. Take the quiz. It is completely free and honestly, it's super cool. The other thing that you can do through that link, guys, if you haven't downloaded the completely free guide to hair loss and hair restoration, now is the time because once again, it is free. It's going to be linked down below. And when you download that guide, you're also going to get a $250 Bosley gift card, which means if you go in, sit down with the Bosley counselor, talk to them about your hair loss, you can use that $250 Bosley gift card at Bosley. You can also, through that link, guys, schedule a consultation to sit down and talk to a Bosley counselor. But the other thing that I want you to check out, if you are somebody that is experiencing hair loss and you're ready to get it under control and stop it and actually start the process of regrowth, you can actually go to Bosley RX. Bosley RX is a modern day approach to offering prescription hair loss medication shipped directly to your door. This is mine. 
Yeah, gentlemen, I noticed. I started to lose extra hair. I don't know if it was over stress. I don't know if it was like male pattern baldness because it does run in my family. But I was like, yo, this isn't okay. And so I went, I took the quiz. I actually signed up with Bosley RX. The other really cool thing, guys, is that if you go to Bosley RX through our link, they're gonna give you your first month of hair loss medication for free off of two of the plans. Now, not tomorrow, do not wait because the only thing you have to lose is more hair. And the longer you put it off, the longer you're like, eh, nobody notices. Yeah, they notice, and you notice. That's the thing that's so important. If you notice, you are feeling insecure about it. I know because it happened to me. Do something about your hair loss, but it starts with you hitting that special link down below, taking the quiz, and taking action today. The next thing that a lot of guys are insecure about is money, all right? And this is one that I can definitely relate to. Um, I've been broke <laughs> the majority of my life. But the thing that you can do starting today is actually take action in fixing it. Budget, it's all about making a budget and sticking to it, all right? And when you do this, when you actually get your head and your hands around your finances, you automatically start to feel a little bit better. Or you start to feel worse because you realize, yo, I'm spending way too much and I don't have anything saved. And so what I'd recommend is identify places or areas where you can cut your monthly expenses, all right? If you're going out to eat a lot, start making your meals at home or bringing your lunch to work. If you're somebody that's driving a super nice car, reduce your car payment by stepping down to something a little more affordable. Housing, if your house is super expensive, go to a smaller apartment or house. And if you still don't make enough to cover your bills and save a little bit, then it's time to get a second job or look for a new job. Update your resume. There's nothing wrong, nothing to be ashamed about doing some type of side hustle to make extra income. It's about paying down your debt, getting right financially so that you can feel better and less insecure about your money. The next thing we gotta talk about is that handsome ass face of yours, all right? That's one of the things that a lot of guys are weird about. They don't feel like they look as good as they can. Gentlemen, this one is super simple. What I want you to do over the next 30 days is start doing two things, right? Not five, just two. Wash your face twice a day, morning and night, to remove the oil, the dirt, the grime, and then use a moisturizer. The simple act of washing your face and moisturizing is going to make a dramatic difference on your skin and the way that you look and the way that you feel. Another tip I'd give you, if you're or somebody that is currently clean shaven, grow a beard. Beards are amazing in terms of not only adding interest, detail, masculine sexiness to your face, they also make you feel more confident. Research has shown that spicy senoritas dig dudes with facial hair. So now is the time. Over the next 30 days, let it grow. Let it run wild and frolic on your face. And then analyze it. See what's going on. If it looks rough and you don't like it, shave it off. But you're going to find that if you have facial hair and it looks pretty good, at the end of 30 days, it's going to actually look great. Just make sure you're keeping it trim, neat, and looking sexy. And the last insecurity that a lot of guys face is your body. Whether or not you're rocking man boobs, love handles, you got a flat ass, you got little tiny skinny chicken arms, gentlemen, here's the truth. If you want to automatically change your life and feel better about yourself, start exercising. Take an active role in getting your shit together. For the next 30 days, I want you to start taking a more active role in your physical fitness. This includes doing a little bit of cardio every single day, 30 minutes, whether or not it's walking outside, jump roping, walking on a treadmill, a bike, it doesn't matter, just move your ass and lift weights, gentlemen, or push-ups, it doesn't matter, as long as you're doing something to challenge your muscles. For the next 30 days, I want you to start making one better food decision a day, whether or not it's eating something a little bit healthier than something that you normally would gravitate towards or replacing one of those sugary drinks or sodas with water. Gentlemen, here's the deal. If you start doing one healthy thing a day in terms of your diet, at the end of 30 days, it's going to make a dramatic difference on not only how you look, how you feel, and how you feel about yourself. All right, gentlemen, so now what I want to do is go over two tricks that are going to help you feel better about yourself and less insecure. Number one, I want you to identify the things that you do better than other people. Each and every one of you has something that you do or about you that is amazing, that's inspiring, that is better than other people. And you don't need to act like it's not. This is not a time to be modest. I want you to own your awesomeness and write that shit down. And what I want you to do is keep this list of things that you are amazing at by your bed, by your nightstand, on the mirror, in the bathroom, wherever. I need you to be able to see it. And then over the next 30 days, each and every day, I want you to write and add to the list one additional thing. Why are 
you amazing. Maybe you're a great friend. Maybe you're a good listener. Maybe you're an incredible dancer. Maybe you're great at Scrabble. It doesn't matter. Whatever makes you amazing, write it down and add to the list. At the end of 30 days, you're going to have a bunch of things that will reinforce the fact that you are fucking awesome. And the last thing I want you to do, gentlemen, is do something nice for somebody each and every day. Over the next 30 days, I want you to go out of your way to do something kind for somebody, whether or not it's helping somebody, whether or not it's volunteering, calling somebody just to give them encouragement. It doesn't matter. But each and every day, you are not done until you do something nice and kind for someone else. And the amazing thing that happens when you actually do something good or nice for somebody, even if they don't say thank you, even if you get no acknowledgement, you feel better about yourself. And it's amazing. When you make this a habit, it's going to change your outlook on life. It's also going to give you a newfound appreciation and respect for yourself. Does it mean that you can't be confident and still have insecurities? Of course not. But it means you've got to get them in check, put them in perspective, and understand that it doesn't matter because you are the only one that worries about them. Nobody else can see them. Insecurities are invisible. Nobody else can see them. But what everybody can see is how incredible you are. So you got to stop acting like you're not and own it.